in Ecclesiastes. Praise God. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10 and 11. And then we will prepare also uh, in the New Testament, praise God. Hallelujah. James chapter 4, verse 14, if I'm correct. In the, in the screen, okay? Shall we read it all together? Our guests and visitors, thank you for coming. Praise God and thank you for uh, joining. Praise God, our service today. This is, I think, the second Sunday of the year. Third. Second. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you of your prayers for us. Praise God. Thank you of your gifts. Thank you of your uh, Christmas gifts to us, things, uh, money, everything. Praise God. And prayers. Hallelujah. In behalf of the family of Pastor Plaza and Pastor Librado and Pastor Rodonel, we thank you and praise God. Hallelujah. Of your generosity. Hallelujah. Whatsoever thy hand, thy, thy hand find it to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work. There is no device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave. Pag namatay ka na, talagang malaking, mataas na diop yun. Whither thou goest. Solomon said, I return and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift. Wow. Nor the battle to the strong. Oh, there is an ongoing tension in Middle East today. Neither yet bread to the wise. Nor yet riches to men of understanding. Nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance, everybody shout, time and chance. Time and chance. Happiness to them all. Amen. I will read it in Tagalog. Here we go. Praise God. Verse 11 is the Wala. Okay. Ako'y bumalik at nakita ko sa ilalim ng araw na ang pag-uunahan ay hindi sa mga matulin. Ni ang pagbabaka man ay sa mga malakas. Ni sa mga pantas, wise. Pantas man ang tinapay. Ni ang mga kayamanan man ay sa mga taong nag-uunawa. Ni ang kaluog man ay sa taong matalino. Kundi ang panahon at kamalaran ay nangyayari sa kanilang lahat. Time and chance. Kapanahunan at kapalaran. Tanungin mo yung sarili. Ano ngayon kapalaran sa 2020? Time and chance. Happens. To all. The New Testament reads like this. Praise God. Hallelujah. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? Everybody say, what is your life? What is your life? It is given a vapor that appeared for a little time. Everybody say, little time. Little time. And then vanish it away. I will bring to you a subject this afternoon. By the mercies and by the help of our Almighty God, entitled, Time and Chance Happens to All. Yeah. Ang kapanahunan at kapalaran ay mangyayari sa lahat. Yeah. Shall we bow down our head and let us pray. Right. Heavenly Father, yeah. your word is very powerful. Yeah. People are listening, O oh God, this afternoon. Yeah. I pray yeah. that there is no hindrance in their listening and understanding. Yeah. Give us the gift, O oh God. Hallelujah. Illuminate our mind. Hallelujah. To receive thy word. While I'm preaching your word, let there be healing in our heart. Let there be healing in the spirit. Let there be healing in their physical bodies. Hallelujah. While I preach thy word, Father, I strongly believe and I declare in this congregation that there is peace in every family. There is joy and love in every relationship. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I claim miracles by faith and I'm standing in your grace, O Lord. I pray this afternoon, O Lord, baptize us all with your presence. Hallelujah. Give us understanding before we go home. In these last days, God, I'm praying, O Lord, there are many more souls who will come to you. Many people who will believe you. Many people, hallelujah, contest. Hallelujah, praise God. The powers of the world to come. Thank you so much, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Thank you for loving us first. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Clap your hands to the Lord one more time. 
for he is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. Our God is worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Time and chance happens to all. You may not take your seats. There is a scripture, praise God, in the Bible that talks about times and seasons. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 to 8, I will read to you, praise God, so that you have an understanding about time. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Time to be born. Those who have birthdays say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A time to die. <laughs> you, you need to understand this. A time to be born. A time to die. But there is an appointed time. A time to plant. And a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill. Uh, Pastor, I think, what, what verse is that? <laughs> and a time to heal. A time to break down. And a time to build up. A time to weep. And a time to laugh. This, is, is it true that there's a time to weep? Yes. There's a time to laugh. Yes. Praise God. A time to mourn. A time to dance. Hallelujah. Sister Niha, is this the bala dance? It's a time to dance the bala dance. A time to cast away stones. And a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace. I asked Brother Chris, when you go back to Hong Kong, did your kids bring you to the airport? There's a time to embrace. And a time to refrain embracing. A time to get. And a time to lose. A time to keep. And a time to cast away. A time to rain. And a time to sow. A time to keep silence. And a time to speak. A time to love. If you are going to read all these verses, it covers all the category of life. There's a time to love. A time to hate. A time of war. And there's a time of peace. Amen. Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now the word chance, if you're going to Google it in the Bible, praise God. The Cambridge Online Dictionary defines the word chance. The level of possibility that something will happen. Or it is an occasion that allows something to be done. That is their meaning of the word chance. But the word chance in the Bible has a different meaning. Praise God. In English, it speaks about the future state or the state of your future. What will happen five years from now? Praise God. What will happen to you uh, next week, next year? Everybody shout, praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. That's the word chance in the Bible. It's not about the possibility. Praise God. Yeah, it could be a possibility or occasion. Praise God. But it has a deeper meaning. Praise God. Hallelujah. It could, some preacher said, what you have done today, what your habits today, maybe it will affect your future. Praise God. See, for example, how you approach your financial habit today, how you manage it, maybe it will affect your future. But I'm talking this morning, hallelujah, about our spiritual journey, our spiritual quest, hallelujah. hallelujah. When the Bible said, time and chance happens to all. These verses. Listen very carefully because my preaching is very short. Everybody say thank you. For all this, Solomon said, I considered in my heart even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of God. Now I want you to look at those words very carefully.
carefully. Because my preaching is not there. This is, I am building foundation of the message. Solomon, in all of his godly wisdom, he said, I considered in my heart, I study, I research. He said, and I will declare all this to you, that the righteous, the wise, and their works are in the hand of God. What are in the hands of God? The works of the righteous and the wise. Hallelujah. And no man knoweth at their love or hatred by all that is before them. Because if I'm going to stand before you, you have no idea if I have love or hatred. But one thing we know that if we have Christ, our heart is being shaped abroad by the love of Christ. Amen. Everybody shall be amen. Oh, there is a, a mosque, praise God, in Pakistan, hallelujah, and ISIS claim that they have done it, I think yesterday or last night, they blow up, praise God, hallelujah, the mosque, praise God, and there are people already who died. Now I will explain to you why. Their time has come. But, if one person who will come from that door is smiling, nice clothes, but you have no idea when he stand in front of you if he has love or hate. Because he can just push the button and then everything will be blown up. That is why Solomon said, no man knoweth either love or hatred by all that is before them. We have no idea. But Jesus said, you are the light of this world. Right. When we show the good things and the works, praise God, He will glorify our Father which is in heaven. Amen. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise Verse 2, the Bible said, All things come alike to all. Would, would you agree to Solomon that all things come alike to all? So why in Bakit ka maingkit? If all things come alike to all. So what did he mean for this? Hallelujah. There is one event to the righteous. How many events for the righteous? One. One event to the wicked. One event to the good. And one also event to the clean. One event to the unclean. To him that sacrifice, to him that go to church, you have just one event. And to him that slept in the boarding house, they have also one event. There's only one event for the good. There's only one event for the sinner. One event to those people who swear. And one event to those people who fear in making an oath. So what Solomon means for this? That there's only one event. One event for the righteous. One event for the OFW. One event for the single. One event for the married. So why get married, Sister Jinto, but if there's only one event? <laughs> one event for the rich, one event for the poor, one event for the good, one event for the bad. So why should we go, try to be good if there's only one event? Amen. Listen carefully of this case, praise God, that we're going to study. Solomon said, this is an evil thing under the sun. Yeah. This is an even, evil among all things that are done under the sun. What is that evil thing? That there is only one event unto all. Sabi niya, masama talaga. Sa lahat ng masama, ito ang pinakamasama. Isang bagay lang mangyayari pala sa lahat. Yes, he said, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil. And madness is in their heart while they live. And after that, they go to the dead. The wise will die. There's only one event. The rich will die. The poor will die. Those people that come to the church will die. Those people who sleep while preaching will die. Those people who respond will die. There's only one event. I am preaching. There's only one event for me. There's only one event for you. And Solomon said, this is a bad thing. There's only one event for all. Remember this. The words of the righteous, the words of the wise, are in the hands of God. 
But the hearts of people are full of evil. And there is madness in their heart while they are still living. And the Bible said, after that, they go to the dead. But the righteous, the wise, their works are in the hands. While there is life, there is hope. And I would not agree that when I read this verse. While there is life, there is hope. No, I don't believe that anymore when I read this verse. Because when Solomon wrote this verse, he said, For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. A small chihuahua is better than a dead big lion. Everybody say amen. amen. When is hope coming? If you join the living. In the New Testament, there is only one living that is a picture, praise God. It's the church, the living organism, the body of Christ. Everybody say amen. amen. There is only one hope. Hallelujah for all the people in this world. To join the living, the living God. Hallelujah. Because He is the source of life. Everybody say amen. amen. Join. You must join the living. If there is a prayer, praise God, join. If there is a service, join. Praise God. But if you join the dead, praise God, service, praise God, of course. Nothing will happen to you. There's no change. But if you're if you're going to join, praise God, the living worship. If you're going to join the live the church of the living God, then there is hope. Yeah. Everybody say amen. Yeah. And he said, for a living dog is better than a dead lion. That's an idiom during their time, and it's yet yeah, it's true. Yes. Oh, I, I cannot join because uh, my singing is not good. They are good singers. Solomon said, a dead lion is no better than a living dog. Your small talent, if you are only always available, is better than those good singers who don't like to participate. Your little talent, praise God, is better than those talented people who don't want to join. Why? Uh, they have dead. Praise God. Vision, you don't want to join. Praise God. Hallelujah. But even your singing is not good. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your talent is just so small. But you are alive and you join the living. And there is hope. Everybody say praise the Lord. The Bible said in verse 5. He said. Verse 5. For the living know. And here's the reason why the living is better than the dead. Okay? We who sit here are better than those people in the grave. Here's the reason. For the living know that they shall die. But those dead doesn't know anymore. Yes. I repeat it again. Those who are living today knows that you will die. Stop plus I are scaring me. <laughs> For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. If you are dead spiritually, you don't know anything. Yes. But if you are alive spiritually during Sunday, one thing you know, I go to church, praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Because you want to go to join the living. The living worship, the living praise, the living word, and the living God is here in this place. Sige, patita mo yung living worship mo yun. Memory erase when you die. Don't try now, praise God. Verse 6. Also their love. Okay. 
who are in love today? Amen. February 14 is still very far, but don't wait for that. Every day we're in love. Who is in love? Amen. Are you in love with Jesus? Yes. Are you in love with your boyfriend? Amen. Uh, are you in love to your husband? Yes. Praise God. Are you in love with Mrs. Terpy? <laughs> But you, you die. Love is gone. Yes. Their hatred will be gone. Their envy will be gone. It's now perished. Neither have they anymore a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. You have no part anymore in the activities of the earth. So the only hope is that you are going to join the living. Every time, praise God, you have a video, join the living church and the living God. Because there's hope. Everybody say amen. amen. Verse 7, the Bible said, Go thy way. Eat thy bread with joy. While you are still alive, even your employer will just give you meatballs only and try some. Eat with that food with joy. Amen. Look. Eat your bread with joy. Kasi kung hindi ka makakain, kunti lang pagkain, consumption ka, patay ka! <laughs> If you will not eat, the food is just too small, you will die! So Solomon said, eat your bread with joy. Those in love people, they eat with joy. <laughs> Are you in love with Jesus? When you are in love with Jesus, you eat the word, you receive the word with joy. Amen. But if you are not in love with Jesus, you just look like that man, pastor is preaching. <laughs> you, you have no joy in eating the word of the Lord. Praise God. But I believe all of you are in love with Jesus. Amen. Drink thy wine with a merry heart. all that works. Then you don't like to go home. Ring you now, ring you now, ring you now. <laughs> so, so ano ang chance na babuo ang pamilya mo? Go home. Verse 9. Verse 9. Why 
it's vanity. Because Solomon said, there's only one evil thing. There's only one event for all. If you work hard, brother Julian, there's only one event. One event, one event, one event. All of us have just one event. When our God will say, come home. But remember what's in his hands. Our works when we are still alive. So, how can your husband be happy in the Philippines in that verse? <laughs> now think about it. <laughs> Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of the life of the body which he had given thee under the sun all the days of thy vanity for that is thy portion in this we as husbands praise God that, that is our portion in this life to live joyfully with my partner <laughs> that's my portion Sabi ko noon pa, kung makaipon ka na, please, umuwi ka na. Pastor, mawalan ka ng libro dito, walang problema. Ang dami pa ang OFW na kailangan kong sabihan. Praise God, there are still many people, praise God, who are not yet saved in the plan of salvation. And they have, not, they have no idea yet that our life is just a little time. And the Bible said, you must remember this, that life is just like a vapor. It appears now, hallelujah, in a few minutes, it will vanish away. And while we are still alive, hallelujah, let us dedicate our lives to the one who created us. For that is thy portion in this life. Sister Marlene, iba pa mo yung kamay mo. Basahin mo may hindi. And in thy labor, which thou takest under the sun. If you have a job, if you have a contract, enjoy! That's the portion of your life. Do not always complain. Verse 10, this is what the Bible said. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. If you have the chance, if you have the opportunity to do something, hallelujah, that is in your hand, the opportunity is there. Do it with all of your ability. Do it with all of your heart. Do it with all of your strength. Praise God. Whether it is domestic work, whether it is a spiritual thing, praise God, let us do it, hallelujah, with all of our strength. Do it with all thy might. For there is no work, no device, knowledge, wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. Habang buhay pa po tayo, mga kabatid, to do na po, gawin natin, praise God. While we are still alive, let us do this with all of our might. To clap and to with all of his wisdom, he studied everything. One of the Bible scholars said, even in botany, praise God, in chemistry, and all areas, praise God, he studied everything. And he said, I returned, and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the sweet. Jesus, hallelujah, supported that principle when he said, when the prostitutes, praise God, and the sinners, and those abusive soldiers in during his time, that the, the Pharisees thought that they are very far from the kingdom. Hallelujah, Jesus said, hallelujah, those last become first, and the first become last. Praise God, those people who we thought that they are very sinners, they are, they are bad people, they are wicked, they came first, praise God, into the kingdom of God. They are the first to come in the altar and say, Lord, I surrender my life to you. And those people who think that they are near God, Jesus said, they are the last. So the race is not always to the sweet. Nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise. Nor yet riches to men of understanding. I know a lot of people in my province, 
in my box. They are really genius in their training. They are very wise. They are very bright. But now, hallelujah, I saw their Facebook page. page. I saw their life. They are very poor. They are talented. Praise God. But they are very poor. I saw also people who are not bright, who are not genius. Praise God. When they put exam, the, the grade is just 3.0. But now, some of them are millionaires. Yes. They didn't even look, look at those drop out in high school. Yes. Like, Mark, uh, who, who are those people? Praise God. They said the uh, founders of those big companies drop out in high school, but they become millionaires. Why, Pastor Plaza? Because, as I said, time and chance happens to Amen. kapanahunan at kapalaran ng yayari sa lahat. So what would be your chance? What would be, praise God, your 2020? What, what, what it looks like, praise God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray to the Lord, praise God, before, Lord, I don't know how to drive a car. I have no driving license. But I said, Lord, give me a car. <laughs> what? Is that funny? No. I don't know how to drive. And when I went to Dabao to attend the Bible school graduation, there is a millionaire there. Praise God. And he asked me, Pastor Plaza, do you want a Raptor? Wow. Four Raptor, 3.2 million pesos. Wow. I said, I cannot talk to him back when he told me, do you want a car? Do you want a Raptor for? I was thinking, <laughs> I, I was speechless. I said, uh, I don't know how to drive. Yes. <laughs> because I forgot that I asked the Lord in prayer. Now, remember, time and chance. Ang kapalakan hindi mo alam eh. I remember one thing the Lord gave me a vision. He, and he told me, praise God, if you take care of my house, I will take care of your house. And it's really true. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, nor riches of men to understand, nor yet favor to men of skill. Maraming mga taong skills, pero walang trabaho ngayon. Yes. Pero maraming mga taong walang skills, sila ang nasa pwisto. Amen. Why? Yes. Time Happens to all. Yeah. 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 In context, what Solomon was saying, that if there is only one event for the good, if there's only one event for the wicked, if there's only one event for the church goer, and if there's only one event for all the strata of life, the Bible said, time and chance happens to them all. Because whether you like it or not, we will die in the appointed time of God. But before that our appointed time will come, Praise God. Open your mind and open your heart. Because I want to preach this afternoon for a question. What is your life? James, praise God. Hallelujah tells us that life is just like a vapor. And verse 12 says they're training in that verse. He said, for man also know it not. His time. If I am the pilot brother Andrew of that Ukrainian plane, that was being shot by the Iranian missile. Yeah. I would not go to that praise God schedule. I will, I will tell my boss, oh, I'm sick. Hallelujah, I have a fever. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> if you be one of the passengers, if you only knew your time, you will avoid your time. Oh, I don't want yet to die. Yeah. Yeah. But the Bible said, no man knows his time. No one knows his time. So this is the time while you are alive. Join the living while you are alive. Because when you join the living, there is hope. And there's no one who is living forever and ever rather than our Lord Jesus Christ. Man 
also know it not his time. As the fishes, yung isdang kinain mo kanina, hindi niya alam, mabingwit pala siya. <laughs> the fishes that are taken in an evil net that you bring your life that was an evil accident. But who knows? Do you have no idea? The one who fired the missile. Praise God. And so, many days they said, Ah, sorry, we accidentally fired it. Praise God. But they are already dead. Yes. How can they complain? Yes. Praise God. They were like fishes that are taken in an evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men. Parang isda lang din. Na nabalik mga kapatid. I praise and so are the sons of men snared in an evil time. Because accidents, praise God, it will not choose if you are a Christian or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian ito, kaganyan lang ito. Yung accident ko sa akin. <laughs> accidents, evil time will not choose. When the Bible said, the sons of men snared in an evil time when it fallen suddenly upon them. I still remember that was December, praise God, I don't know the year, praise God, somewhere in Luzon, under Pastor Marcos, praise God, he went to the YMTS. Full of young people, bus are full of young people, then the bus just fall down to the creek, praise God, and many of them are dead. They are young people, Praise that some of them are the sons and daughters of the pastors. Hallelujah. They are being caught. They are being fallen suddenly. Praise God. What we call an evil time. Yeah. Everybody is having yeah. That is why the book of James said we must understand this. That the time that we have in this world. Our life. Praise God. Hallelujah. That we have today. We must be careful of this life. Praise God in James. Praise God chapter 4 verse 13 and 14. That is what the Bible said. Praise God. Can you show me the praying James chapter 4 verse 13 and 14. That our life is just like a vapor. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. We have no idea what will happen tomorrow. Maybe today we have good plans for tomorrow. Maybe today you have already an imagery of what would be the Korean barbecue. I can try barbecuing there. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I will tell you, no one knows if January 28 will reach, if our life can reach January 28. But one thing I know, I do good. I praise Him because my work is in the hands of God. Hallelujah. God will accept it. Praise God and get gain, but they have no idea, praise God, hallelujah, if tomorrow will come to their lives. Yeah. Our life, praise God, is hidden in Christ. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 3 to 4, this is our life, the true life that is recorded in the word of God. Praise God, Colossians chapter 3 and 3 and 4. Praise God, hallelujah. Colossians 3, praise God. Three and four, okay? Wait, be patient, praise God. Hallelujah. Four, ye. verse 1 so that you have a good understanding in this verse. So that we will not give this verse out of context. Verse 1. If ye then if ye then be risen with Christ this is talking about the newness of life. Praise God. Seek those things which are above. Where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Verse 2. Hallelujah. Set your affection on things above not on things on the earth. I repeat it again. 
If this is the story of life that we have, that there's only one event for the rich, one event for the poor, one event for everybody, that one day we will go to the dead, to the world of the dead. The Bible said, from now on, we will set our affection on the things which are above. Dapat ngayon, makalangit na mga bagay na ang isipin mo. Amen. Hindi yung makamundong bagay. Amen. Not the things on this earth. Hallelujah. For ye are dead, and your life, here we go, and your life is hid with Christ in God. The moment that you repented of your sins, and you were baptized in His name, your life is hidden in Christ. Praise God in God. So in other words, praise God, Jesus Christ is our Savior. The moment you receive Him, the moment that you acknowledge Him, Oh Lord, you are my Savior. Praise God, I will repent of my sins and I will give my life to you. Your life is hidden in Christ. Praise God, so if your life is hidden in Christ, this is what the Bible said in verse 4. With Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall he also appear with him in glory. The question of James, for what is our life? Our life is just like a vapor. But the moment you serve God, the moment you surrender your life to Christ, praise God, hallelujah, the question for what is my life is no longer applicable because your life is now hidden in Christ. And when Christ will appear, who is our life now? Our life now is Christ. Why? Because your life is hidden in Christ. When He will appear, praise God, then He shall He also appear with Him in glory. Whether you are dead, praise God, whether you die before the rapture will take place, Jesus has promised in the last days, hallelujah, I will resurrect you. In the last days, I will give you eternal life. Praise God, because in Him, there is living hope. In Him, there is eternal life. Christ, who is our life. Your life is not yours anymore. Because your life is hidden in Christ. Hallelujah. In the eyes of God, the righteousness of Christ, praise God, is being seen in you. I met a pastor in Nagpur when Brother Andrew was getting married. The, praise God. Uh, he is a doctor. Praise God. His wife is a friend of, I think it's a teacher of Nina. Praise God. When Nina was still a, praise God. So we, we were chatting, praise God, while they were dancing, eating, everything, celebrating. We were chatting, praise God, and we talk about the words of God. We talk about the grace of God. We talk about the law of His word. We talk about so many subjects, praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, and I said to him, praise God, we are standing in the grace of God. Our righteousness, not from our own, but at the righteousness of God, the righteousness of Christ. Yes, we are not perfect. But when you stand in the grace of God, because salvation is grace, it is given to you. Praise God. When you close your eyes, when you say, Lord, hallelujah, I'm standing in your righteousness. I'm standing in your grace. Hallelujah. Praise God. The, the prayer of a righteous man availed much. Hallelujah. It avails much when you have the righteousness of Christ. Siguro mabagal, sa bagalan ko ba, kapatid, pag nandyan na sa'yo, ang katuwiran na namula kay Kristo, pagpikit sa iyong mata at nananalangin ka, ipiktibo ang iyong prayer dahil hindi na ang katuwiran mo, kundi ang katuwiran ni Kristo, ang siyang nakikita ng Diyos. What God can see in your life is not your righteousness anymore, but the righteousness of Christ. Why? Your life is given in Christ Jesus. Stop your hands to the Lord. You are saved by grace. You are now saved by the mercies of God. Your imperfection is covered by Christ. Your mistakes, hallelujah, when you ask forgiveness, you are being forgiven and you are being covered by Christ in the eyes of God, hallelujah. The righteousness that you have now is not only your own righteousness because your life is hidden with Christ and the Bible said, when Christ will return, who is our life? Then we will also appear in glory with Him. That is our hope. We will join the living God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands to the Lord one more time. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I told 
told you, ano kaya ang kapalaran mo sa 2020? Now, I will finish my testimony. Kasi raptor yun, mga kanyan. I don't know how to drive, Brother Chris. But why should I make it a problem? I can ask somebody to drive for me. Praise God. 3.2 billion pesos? And he said, okay, this year we will buy it. Praise God. I said, can I bring it to Hong Kong? <laughs> Praise God. I don't know. It's just a word. It's just a word. No guarantee, no assurance. It's just a word. But I was praying that. Praise God. Because my kids, when we go to the Philippines, we have no car. Praise God. But everywhere I go, there are lots of people willing to serve us, to pick up at the airport. Praise God. So many brands of cars already. When I go to India, there's a car. No problem. When I go to Canada, there's somebody that will pick me up. When I go to Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, there's somebody who will pick me up, who will drive me. So anywhere in the world, I know, there is a car. <laughs> When I went to Cebu, two pastors are arguing. Pastor Plaza, please, I'm going to to serve you today. Other pastor said, no, Pastor Plaza is mine today. <laughs> they are fighting who will pay the hotel. They are fighting who will pay the lunch. Those who are singles, what 
will be your chance. Praise God and get gain, but they have no idea. Praise God, hallelujah, if tomorrow will come to their lives. Our life, praise God, is hidden in Christ. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 3 to 4, this is our life, the true life that is recorded in the Word of God. Praise God, Colossians chapter 3 and 3 and 4. Praise God, hallelujah. Colossians 3, praise God. 3 and 4, okay? Wait, be patient, praise God. Hallelujah. For ye are dead. We, 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 we will uh, go back on verse 1 so that you have a good understanding in this verse. So that we will not get this verse out of context. Verse 1. If ye then, if ye then be risen with Christ, this is talking about the newness of life, praise God, seek those things which are above. Where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Verse 2. Hallelujah. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. I repeat it again. If this is the story of life that we have, that there's only one event for the rich, one event for the poor, one event for everybody, that one day we will go to the dead, to the world of the dead. The Bible said, from now on, we will set our affection on the things which are above. Dapat ngayon, makalangit na mga bagay na ang isipin mo. Amen. Hindi yung makamundong bagay. Amen. Not the things on this earth. Hallelujah. For ye are dead, and your life, here we go, and your life is hid with Christ in God. The moment that you repented of your sins, and you were baptized in His name, your life is hidden in Christ. Praise God in God. So in other words, praise God, Jesus Christ is our Savior. The moment you receive Him, the moment that you acknowledge Him, Oh Lord, you are my Savior. Praise God, I will repent of my sins and I will give my life to you. Your life is hidden in Christ. Praise God, so if your life is hidden in Christ, this is what the Bible said in verse 4. With Christ, who is our life, shall appear. Then shall he also appear with him Amen. in glory. Amen. The question of James, for what is our life? Our life is just like a vapor. But the moment you serve God, the moment you surrender your life to Christ, praise God, hallelujah, the question, for what is my life, is no longer applicable because your life is now hidden in Christ. And when Christ will appear, who is our life now? Our life now is Christ. Why? Because your life is hidden in Christ. When He will appear, praise God, then He shall He also appear with Him in glory. Whether you are dead, praise God, whether you die before the rapture will take place, Jesus has promised in the last days, hallelujah, I will resurrect you. In the last days, I will give you eternal life. Praise God, because in Him, there is living hope. In Him, there is eternal life. Christ, who is our life. Your life is not yours anymore. Because your life is hidden in Christ. Hallelujah. In the eyes of God, the righteousness of Christ, praise God, is being seen in you. I met a pastor in Nagpur when Brother Andrew was getting married. The praise God. Uh, he is a doctor. Praise God. His wife is a friend of, I think it's a teacher of Niha. Praise God. When Niha was still a, praise God. So we, we were chatting, praise God, while they were dancing, eating, everything, celebrating. We were chatting, praise God. And we talk about the words of God. We talk about the grace of God. We talk about the law of His word. We talk about so many subjects, praise God. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I said to him, praise God, we are standing in the grace of God. Our righteousness, not from our own, but at the righteousness of God. The righteousness of Christ. Yes, we are not perfect, 
But when you stand in the grace of God, because salvation is grace, it is given to you. Praise God. When you close your eyes, when you say, Lord, hallelujah, I'm standing in your righteousness. I'm standing in your grace. Hallelujah. Praise God. The, the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Hallelujah. It avails much when you have the righteousness of Christ. Siguro mabagal sa bagalan ko ba, kapatid? Pag nandyan na sa'yo, ang katuwiran na namula kay Kristo, pagpikit sa iyong mata at nananalangin ka, ipiktibo ang iyong prayer dahil hindi na ang katuwiran mo. Kundi ang katuwiran ni Kristo ang siya nakikita ng Diyos. What God can see in your life is not your righteousness anymore, but the righteousness of Christ. Why? Your life is given in Christ Jesus. Clap your hands to the Lord. You are saved by grace. You are now saved by the mercies of God. Your imperfection is covered by Christ. Your mistakes, hallelujah, with you as forgiveness. You are being forgiven and you are being covered by Christ in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. The righteousness that you have now is not all your own righteousness because your life is hidden with Christ and the Bible said when Christ will return who is our life then we will also appear in glory with him that is our hope when we join the living God come and hold up your hands to the Lord one more time blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be the name of the Lord I told you ano kaya ang kapalaran mo sa 2020. Now, I will finish my testimony. Kasi raptor yun, mga kapatid. I don't know how to drive, brother Chris. But why should I make it a problem? I can ask somebody to drive for me. Praise God. 3.2 billion pesos? And he said, okay, this year we will buy it. Wow. Praise God. Okay. I said, can I bring it to Hong Kong? <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. I don't know, it's just a word. It's just a word. No guarantee, no assurance, it's just a word. But I was praying that. Praise God. Because my kids, when we go to the Philippines, we have no car. Praise God. But everywhere I go, there are lots of people willing to serve us to pick up at the airport. Praise God. So many brands of cars already. When I go to India, there's a car. No problem. When I go to Canada, there's somebody that will pick me up. When I go to Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, there's somebody who will pick me up, who will drive me. So anywhere in the world, I know there is a car. <laughs> Gotta provide for me. When I went to Cebu, two pastors are arguing. Pastor Plaza, please, I'm the one to serve you today. And the pastor said, no, Pastor Plaza is mine today. <laughs> They are fighting who will pay the hotel. They are fighting who will pay the lunch. And no one fighting in your life. I'll just wake you up. Praise God. Yes, even Pastor Lebrano, praise God. When they go back to the village, there's somebody. God will provide praise them to, to drive them. But my kids, you say, can we buy the car? Said, we cannot buy in Hong Kong. Praise God. We have no money to buy that. But in the Philippines, we will ask the Lord that when we go there, we have our own. Praise God. And Kisha said, I want color. <laughs> You know kids, you know? I want color blue. And then you drive, I'm on the front seat, mama the center, car at the front, and then just, she just figure it out where we're going to sit. Everybody 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now that there is a promise from the Lord that He prepares a place for you, yes. what is your imagination now? Your mansion in heaven, how it looks like? The streets of gold. How, when, you, when you step on that street of gold, do you have already an imagination of what would be my feeling? We are going to hear the choir in heaven without any practice anymore. We <laughs> just sing to the Lord. When I saw angels saying, Hallelujah! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, praise God. Who is, who was, and is to come. When you hear the voices of the angels, do you have an imagination now? Praise God. If the Lord will tell you, oh, it's your appointed time. Go to my house in heaven. I see your works. Your works is in my hand. You always join the church. You always join the worship. You always join the prayer. You are baptized in my name. It's time for you to go home. Do you have an imagination now? Kapalahunan at kapalanan Mangyayari Kaya ako nang naniwala Nabigyan talaga ko ng sasakyan Sino nang kapalanan ko eh Ayun mga walang kasban Ano mga kapalanan ko Those who are singles What would be your chance We have eternal life. All my hope is in Jesus Christ. Because of Jesus, we have overcome. Because of Jesus, every battle has been won. Because of Jesus, we have eternal life. All our hope is in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next verse is in the Obey to your employers. Obey the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Because when the end will come, when the event will come to everyone, all our works are already in the hands of God. Hallelujah. I am giving a message to the church of New Life Fellowship. It's time to be serious in serving the Lord. Don't take it lightly, praise God, in serving God. Be serious in loving God. Be serious in obeying His Word. This is not a game. This is a serious thing. 2020, I will give my life to Jesus. I will join the living because I want hope in my life. I will tell you, church, me and Sister Daisy for a long, long years. You are separated from your family, but listen to me. Hallelujah. God knows. God knows what's in your heart. Time and chance, Sister Daisy. Hallelujah. Time and chance. Praise God happens to all. Praise God. Just talk to the Lord. Ask, hallelujah, what is in your heart. Hallelujah. Because if you ask the Lord with all of your heart in faith, the Lord will do it, hallelujah, in His time. Sino magkakala na sa 2020 may bahay at lupa ka na? Sa 2020 magkamali ka lang magkaayos ang mga nasilang relasyon. Bahay ng chance. Happens to all. Yung mga nawawala mo bagay, maristor sa'yo. Who knows? Bahay ng chance happens to all. I will tell you, rejoice in the Lord. Joy. Hallelujah in the Lord. If you have the chance to come to the altar, come. If you have the chance to call upon the name of the Lord, come. Hallelujah. If you have the chance to open your mouth and say, I love you, Jesus. Take control of my life. Hallelujah. Do it with all of thy might. Hallelujah. If you have not yet received the gift of the Holy Ghost, you mga ka nakareceive na. Praise God. Unahin natin yung mga hindi pa nakareceive ng Holy Ghost. If you are a backslider, I have a message for you. Come back to the Lord. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord forgiveness. Time to dedicate our life to Him. Our life is just a vapor. We don't know the event in our life. But all things are in the hands of God. Serious Ohina paglilingkod sa Diyos. Mahal namin bisita, maaaring maraming katanungan ang isip mo ngayon. Ano pa itong lugar na napasukan ko? Sabihin ko sa'yo, may mensahe ang Diyos para sa'yo. Mahal ka niya. Gusto ng Diyos na ikaw ay pagpapalain. Gusto ng Diyos na ikaw ay mag-success dito sa abroad. In the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah. If you have no chance to come closer to this altar, while you are sitting on your chair, hallelujah, can you close your eyes for a moment and open your mouth and start to get there?